welcome back to our series on Barnum House. Today we are going to explore some popular pastimes in the 1800s. Just like we are today, people in the 1800s were fascinated by new technology. Let's take a look at this artifact here. I'll hold it up and turn it around. Any ideas what it might be used for? magic lantern. A magic lantern was kind of like an early slide projector. Magic lantern would have a door here where you could put a candle inside and then images would be projected through the aid of slides onto a wall. In the 1800s people loved to attend magic lantern shows. Magic Lantern shows were where a number of Magic Lanterns would be set up in front of a live audience and images would be projected onto a wall or perhaps a silk screen. Sometimes these images would be rather spooky. There could be ghosts and goblins featured and that was called Phantasmagoria. today looks something like this. Take a moment and think about what this might have been used for. This was called a stereoscope and the stereoscope worked with the new technology of photography. The stereoscope would have a card that would show two photographic images which would be seen by either the right or the left eye. So if one would look through the viewfinder, you would actually be able to see a 3D image. Embroidery was a popular handicraft practiced by young women in the 1800s. Barnum House features a variety of needlework samplers, combining different styles of stitching. Embroidery samplers often featured Bible passages and alphabets, and were a common educational tool in the 1800s. Another popular pastime was listening to music. In the 1800s, people didn't have recorded music. The first phonograph was only invented around 1870. So what would you have to do? You would have to make music yourself, using your own musical talents. For example, the Barnums may have played on a piano very similar to this one. This is actually a smaller piano. It has 74 keys, where pianos today have 88. On the next episode, we will be taking a closer look at the Barnum House Kitchen.